Hello there, Adam here. Welcome to 2020. Yes, a new year. Don't know about you, all the decorations are down, kids have gone back to school today, my wife's off at work, and as this time of year comes round, people make New Year's resolutions. They've reflected on the year gone, and they're looking at the year ahead, and they're thinking, what am I gonna do differently? And so, today I wanted to just sort of reframe reward. So just recap, what is the essence of reward? What are we and our organizations actually trying to achieve when it comes to this, uh, this noble endeavor that we uh, commit ourselves to? And I had the good fortune to catch up with uh, an old colleague and uh, over the course of several hours, you know, we caught up and we battered around reward, the essence of it, you know, what are we trying to achieve? And I came back to the concept of the employee value proposition. So at the heart of it, why is someone coming to work? What is it that they are getting back from the organization for having turned up and for doing their job, for really committing themselves? And the employee value proposition um, not as a target, but just as a basic statement. Like Everyone has an employee value proposition. Everyone has the totality of what they offer to their employees. And it is, uh, like it sounds, it's everything you do that offers value to the employee. And that includes compensation, for sure. You know, <laughs> at the most basic, everyone needs to earn. You know, we know that. Um, so... You know, people come to money for work, but fine, you know, once they're there, you know, they want to be earning a good wage. They want to be earning a fair wage that they feel is competitive. So, so far, so good. There are other cash elements for sure. So, you know, if you're offering bonuses or in cash incentives, you know, how are they driven? You know, is it something that people feel connected to, that they understand? Can never say that uh, too much. If you're offering any kind of incentive or annual bonus or things like that, people need to understand where it comes from. People need to understand why they're getting what they're getting. Otherwise, honestly, it's wasted money. You know, if people just get given a random amount, they really, really don't. It doesn't connect. So, uh, yeah, do please think about that. Alongside those elements, you have things like pensions. You know, we have to offer a pension, so that's a statutory, but you know, going above and beyond, helping people save for retirement, it's a big issue. People aren't saving enough, we know they're not saving enough. People only tend to offer, save a relatively small amount, so you know, how can we encourage that? Um, benefits as well, you know, making sure there's a range of benefits to support people and enable them and uh, help them through difficult times, if it's medical things or employee well-being. Um, so this is all kind of, that's almost the standard reward. That's classic reward, shall we say. So reward classic. You're sorting out your salaries, your cash components, and you're offering your pensions and your benefits. But that's not the totality of the employee value proposition. The employee value proposition, what do you get as an individual for turning up to work? And what you want as an individual, what people are craving is purpose something worthwhile, a noble cause. They want to know that they are doing something valuable for society, that they are contributing as a result. And so, there you go. So they want to know that they are, that the company is doing something worthwhile, that they can see that they are connected and helping deliver something greater. They want to feel that they are part of a community. So not just that they're turning up and churning round as a soulless autonomon, um, but uh, yes, to be part of something bigger, to feel connected with their colleagues, with their leadership. So how can you ensure that you are giving feedback, peer feedback, management feedback, that you are recognizing results? So that you are, yes, creating this sense of community and togetherness that is so important towards making people feel valued. And creativity, influence, um, again, like autonomy, in their job so not just again soullessly churning it out but actually the ability to exercise influence to be able to try different things to feel that they have control over their piece of what they're delivering so how can you empower your people how can you ensure that they have a key role to play 
in what's being delivered. Unsurprisingly, all of those things tie back to a creative community with a cause. Those successful companies that get very large, that give their people power, that create the sense of community, and that have a worthwhile cause that they are all working towards. And it's really important that when you think about 2020, when you think about this year, think about your employee value proposition. But don't just think about salaries, about bonuses and pensions and benefits. Think what is the environment that we are creating for our employees. When people come to work, do they come to work knowing that they have a key role to play? Do they come to work feeling that they have something important to contribute and that they have been empowered to deliver it? Do they feel that they are appreciated and supported by their colleagues, by their line management? Do they feel that they are being developed, that uh, you know their performance is being encouraged, that they are developing as individuals on training courses and you know they're, they're growing? This is all the employee value proposition. This is what you want your employees to feel uh, that they are getting from the organisation. So, for 2020, that is my uh, little challenge to you. Uh, I would suggest, uh, yeah, almost do an audit. Have a proper think about your organisation, about what you have in place, and, and be honest. You know, that one poor manager, that one poor leader, that one toxic personality, they can all harm your employee value proposition. And if they're left alone and encouraged or they're seen to be, you know, valued because, uh, yeah, they do some good things whilst irritating everybody else around them, it sends a message about value, about the value of the individuals, whether or not you want it to. So, 2020, cheerio.